And there's a very powerful Rangers lineup costing around 6.5 million to assemble. And the only player unavailable for selection was Stuart Munro. So John Brown will start the match at left back, where he began his senior professional career at Hamilton. And wearing a number eight jersey is 21-year-old Ian Ferguson playing his first competitive match of the season after being injured playing against Bordeaux pre-season. And he'll be very keen to justify his £800,000 plus transfer fee from St. Martin last season. Celtic 2 appeared in favour of a 4-4-2 formation with Derek White on the bench and Aiken and McCarthy in central defence. Billy Stark's experience is preferred to the potential of young Joe Miller who's the second Celtic substitute. And it's a brand new experience for Ian Andrews, the only Celtic man playing in his first Old Firm match this afternoon and he's likely to have his nerve tested very early on. For the referee, Kenny Hope, one of Scotland's highest rated officials, landing his sixth Old Firm match as Celtic get the match underway in the midst of the most incredible atmosphere. It's been said many times before, but I've certainly witnessed a vast number of Old Firm matches in the atmosphere in the half hour building up to the start of this match really was something special. The conditions will be treacherous because it's wet underfoot, there have been squally showers all morning and it's blustery overhead so there could be problems particularly for defenders and for goalkeepers in particular. Chris Woods of course has been over the course many times before, it was opposite number Ian Andrews though, very keen I'm sure to get his first touch of the ball, there's Mick McCarthy throw goes to Rangers on the far side there's Gary Stevens, his first old firm match along with Kevin Drinkle chesting that down for Durant good play by Durant and as he goes down there are fierce appeals for a foul the challenge came from Anton Rogan the referee Kenny Hope right up with the play indicating that, that was a dive by Durant so the ball is out on the far side and it'll be a throw to Rangers a very interesting early moment. The tackle came from Ian Ferguson, a very heavy one at that, and the referee is having a war with Ferguson. The Celtic players protesting fiercely to referee Hope. And Ian Ferguson crunching into Peter Grant. You see, as the ball came across, here was Peter Grant. Ferguson was clearly late, totally committed. And that was certainly a bad tackle by the young Rangers number eight. So Nick McCarthy's free kick. Butcher going up with Walker. Durant with the clearance. And Ferguson didn't quite manage to keep the ball in play, so it's a throw on the far side with Celtic having the chance with wind assistance now to keep the pressure on. Durant organising his teammates and marking capacity, Mark Walters he was calling to. The wind is freshened behind Celtic. There's McAvenny. Richard Goff doing well, and Stevens. Very confident on the ball. Dangerous moment though, the ball coming across, goal for Butcher's header. That's off the post, there's McAvenny! Celtic are in front! Troy for Frank McAvenny with five minutes on the clock, and the Celtic end goes wild. Peter Grant had the original shot but hits the post. Chris Woods appeared to see that late. in the back by Aiken on McCoist. It looked though as though both players had misjudged the flight of the ball. There's Kevin Drinkle. I wonder what he makes of this experience, an old firm match. First time in his career. Ray Wilkins will take the free kick. Goff is in the box once again. So is Butcher. Back to Brown. Blocked by McCarthy. There's McCoist! Finishing by Ali McCoist. Ten minutes gone. Rangers 
are back on terms, and that was top class striking. McCoy savouring the moment, as are the Rangers fans. With the aerial power of Rangers, Butcher and Goff causing all the problems. This broke to John Brown, a powerful volley, was blocked by McCarthy, rebounded back across the face of the box to Ali McCoy. That drilled left foot shot left Andrews helpless. Well, Ali McCoy is continuing his magnificent scoring record against him. And what a start to the first Old Firm match of the season. Ten minutes gone, one apiece. And now it's the Rangers fans who are making themselves happy. Lifting it forward, there's Walker. One round. Hope for one forward. McCarthy's given that straight to McCoy. He's away from Aiken, still McCoy. And superb play from Ali McCoy. Now clearly complaining about the tackle by Roy Aiken. It certainly appeared to be a foul, but an error by McCarthy. Cashed in on by Ali McCoy. Now look at the way he takes on Aiken. Aiken certainly appeared to impede him. The referee gave the advantage, which I think was the right decision, and McCoy's under pressure, blast the shot wide. And now McCoy is being spoken to for the descent. Perhaps Ali McCoy is looking to have things both ways. He wanted the shot at goal and then wanted perhaps the second opportunity for a free kick. It's one for McKent McAvenny to chase, which he does as willingly as ever. Couldn't keep it in play though. He was policed all the way by Terry Butcher. And it will be a Rangers throw. Butcher settling into the heart of the Rangers defence. Brown with a throw again, looking for McCoy. Head flick finds Durant on the run. Walter is free over on the right. Good tackle by McCarthy. Brinkle running into trouble. Here's Paul McStay. Impeded by Wilkins. Paul McStay trying to play a 1-2 with McAvenny. Taken out of the play by Wilkins and it'll be the English international who'll be the first player of the match to be booked. It was fine play this from Paul McStay. And Ray Wilkins cut out here as McStay released the pass. Wilkins blocking the run blatantly there from McStay. Walters with Morris, a foul by Morris. The Brown will take the free kick. Hoisting that towards Richard Goff, who wins it well for Rangers. Kept away first time by McCarthy. Well, he returns it, there's Brinkle! Ball knotted down by Goff, the clearance by McCarthy, return first time by Ferguson, Brinkle turning for the grounder which Andrews took very well indeed. McAvenny now to Barnes, as Walker through the middle. Runs again, this is Paul McStay, the momentum for the moment is gone for Celtic. Chris Morris now joining the attack. Here's Walker. Now Barnes. Barnes charging into the box committing the range of defence and that was superb play from Tommy Barnes bringing out that excellent tackle from Terry Butcher but so positive saw no pass on at the edge of the box committed the Rangers defence invited anyone to make a rash challenge on him and then got out that fine tackle from Butcher well, Barnes himself will take the corner kick Back from Gary Stevens to Barnes. Of course, Ball Woods is committed, he's in trouble. And a goal kick to Rangers, but an anxious moment there for Chris Woods. He made up his mind early on to go for that. There was Barnes, it was a fine cross, a very difficult one for the keeper. He didn't make it, and the header went wide. 
Well taken down by McCoy, holding off Rogan. This time the referee's whistle had gone. McCoy showing what remarkable strength he has when he's in possession. A very solidly built young man hustling there with Rogan who couldn't force him off the ball without committing the foul. John Brown coming across. Deadly from set pieces around the box. Too far out for the direct shot. That's Ian Ferguson. Walters taking the ball to the byline. Looping it back in for the first time shot. Harry McCoy. Frustration for the Rangers striker. But he can have no qualms with the quality of the strike. Mark Walters doing so well after Ferguson played that into the box. The first time shot in the volley, a perfect view. It's only about six inches wide. That's a cross hitter. Durant doing well. He is Brown at the back. There's Aiken. Goff. Going forward to Wilkins. Being knocked there from Barnes after the ball had gone. The ball is offered by Barnes. Here's Mark Walters. In goes Ferguson, met right away by McCarthy. It's back now with Durant. That appeared to be handball. And a very tough late tackle by McCarthy. And that wasn't called for. I mean, Durant, to his credit, making light of it. He had already been penalised for handball. Brian McCarthy came crunching in late. Let's take a look at this. Handball there by Durant. Now look at this tackle from Mick McCarthy. Sailing through the challenge after the ball had gone. McCarthy protesting vehemently. The cut no ice with referee Hope. The decision has been taken to book the Republic of Ireland centre half. And the referee appears to have done a good job in calming McCarthy down. As Aiken. Stevens and Goff in a bit of a tangle. Goff sorted out for Rangers with help from Stevens. Walters get a touch. Now it's Rogan for Celtic. That's a good ball from start. His first touches have been very effective today, and that with a calculated foul by John Brown, which I'm sure will result in action from the referee. Chris Morris taken out of the play in calculated fashion here. Now you see Morris got to the ball first, knocked it beyond the Rangers fullback, who does ease Morris to the ground. Ten minutes remaining in what has been a tremendous first half. The match as evenly poised as the scoreline. McAvenny and McCoist punching each other out. Early goals. Morgan playing it out for the throw. Being careful to avoid a corner kick. Goff and Butcher have gone up. It's launched in field by Steven Des Butcher. Back with Wilkins. Absolutely magnificent from Ray Wilkins. Ten minutes to half time. And a goal which Ray Wilkins will never have bettered in an illustrious career. Butcher. Stevens. And there goes the half-time whistle. An absolutely outstanding first 45 minutes. Peppered with excellent football. The culmination being the second goal for Rangers from Ray Wilkins. 